hello and what is going on you guys hyperion blue gt here it's time to get ready to go round five and test season two for the 2022 series of the gran turismo world series manufacturers cup on gt7 after round four at high speed ring for the group four class to take on to be in the rain surface for having a condition to be on partly cloudy but it was a lot of good time out there to take six turns and straightaways to go strategize to make your way onto the top three position. But luckily, I ended up in third place for the first time in the second test season of the Manufacturer's Cup. It takes a lot of hard work to go faster to have a lot of good straightaways to be on every good turns from one of the legendary Gran Turismo racetrack. So right now in round five, we're moving on in Tokyo Expressway to be on the east clockwise to have 12 laps for the number of cars will be going participate in 20 in the formation start type for the group 3 class. White body is prohibited. Recommend two choices on the racing category to be going in to have an intermediate or heavy wet tires as always from last race. So there will be some tougher times so we have to make sure to be very careful in case of the damages Will might get some scratches Will might end up in the result of the penalty to be added up by 1.5 seconds Car collision penalty, shortcut, and pit lane line cutting penalty will be enabled as always BOP slash tuning forbidden will be set to be on to be having some specify with some car settings so better make sure to grab your group 3 cars and head out onto the track to beat the wet surface for today's weather forecast is going to be on the rain. BOP regulations will be set up automatically to be on the power and wait for every manufacturer brand for every group 3 car is about to go challenging so let's do our best, join in session to be in the lobby and drive respectfully to beat the rain. If you're new to my YouTube channel Go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you want to see more. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the race and let's begin. Okay viewers, time to go exercise caution for round 5 is going to be very challenging on Tokyo Expressway to be on the east clockwise. So we got more drivers in session, so we got 19 of them on board in about 20 seconds, so better make sure to do some options. We'll be doing a good single lap to have a good chance without doing a pit stop. The fuel map also to be well used in case of the fuel usage, we'll have to keep in touch. So let's do this you guys. 3 seconds, it's about to go on and let's begin to get the show on the road. Let's go for round 5 and test season 2 for the 2022 series of the Gran Turismo World Series Manufacturers Cup is about to go on to be in the rain condition at Tokyo Expressway. Here's Arto Passos in 1st place in the Subaru WRX, Nighthawk in 2nd place in the Nissan GTR, Liam underscore Sharpie in the Renault Sport RS GT3, and here's Des Beto 22 in 5th place, Demon Craig in 5th place in choosing the Chevy Corvette, Here's myself in 6th place for the UTRS in Sportec. Tokyo Dave in the McLaren 650S GT3 in 7th place. Boto here in 8th place. And we have Pap in the McLaren 650S GT3. Joy Back of Donuts in 10th place in the Honda Genesis. Johnny 5 in the Lexus RCF GT3 2017. Cripple Mule is here in 12th place in the Nissan GTR. Rapid Rapid in 13th place for the 2018 Ford GT LM. Smart Prime in 14th place, Tractor Fixture is here in 15th place, Duncan Popades is in the 16th position, Ghost EG92 in 17th place, Tom the Tech in the Hunt Genesis XGR3 in 18th place, MPSR37 in the Volkswagen Beetle Group 3 in last place. Quick setup and go on the rolling start to be in the cutscene, so better make sure to see the Fuel map will be doing a good roll of an endurance to see how longer it takes, if anything possible, to be going low on fuel. One pit stop will be available before coming in onto the tunnel after the tires will have to do a feet dry. Very good formation, one car at a time to do the sideways and get yourself prepared. Lap number one is about to 
go on to be on a dry asphalt before coming out into the wet surface by the exit of the tunnel. So let's do this. Round 5 in Test Season 2 of the Manufacturing Cup is about to go underway. Good luck and stay safe. But remember, always gonna have to drive gently when any opponents could probably might have to do some space. Looks like Tokyo Dave is now coming in, followed by Photo Kier is now moving on towards the first turn to be entered onto this part of the corner and sector one clear. Just gonna have to keep a good concentration. Drop down automatically for UTRS in Sportech by putting up the intermediate racing rain compound tires will have to go moderation. Turn two is coming in and clear. And now we're about to be entered onto the corner section of the highway. So better make sure the line of formation to be on the yellow highlight will be doing the main roll of the direction. Excellent turn clear, sector two clear and moved on into sector three. Four sectors around in Tokyo Expressway to be on the east district to be on the clockwise to be on the forward direction. So let's see some group three racers could probably have to be safety around to be on the wet surface on the track. No penalty by hitting the barrier is the number one racing priority for Gran Turismo 7. But hold on, looks like Pap just barely took a one second penalty before press on to be in the next sector to have a single penalty second. Just got to keep an eye out folks. This will might have the hairpin will be moved forward without crossing the penalty line until the full straightaway will be doing a good different location to have a good suitable slow down position. So let's hit the brakes and coming in onto the final turn to have a good successful full stretch at the end of the first lap. Lap number one clear and check before moving on into lap number two. Arto Passos from Brazil is currently in the number one lead. He's going out of folks. One Brazilian Gran Turismo racer is now going on for having a good full stretch. Fastest lap. 2 minutes and 11.695 seconds before moving on into lap number 2. Let's see some good progress for having a good clean race competition to beat the rain just like high speed rain from round 4 is about to go different in round 5 to be at Tokyo. So looks like Joey Bag of Donuts and Pap are now coming in onto UTRS in Sportec to be in the middle of the straightaway before coming in onto turn 1 again. Just gonna have to keep a good steady pace and go on the inside. And looks like Johnny Five and the 2017 Lexus RCF GT3 barely took a four second penalty. But heads up, contact just barely called in to be on turn two. Insportec has to do the exercise caution to use the weather radar in case. Looks like the surface of the rain is gonna get much light blue out there. Onto the radar checked to be going normal. Sector 3, here I go again. Joey Backup Donuts in the Honda Genesis Group 3 comes in and takes the second part of the turn and moves on to be on the curved straightaway to be entered over in the middle of Sector 3. Clean successful on this turn. Now going to have to take the left corner to be moved on to be on the on-ramp. Here comes Sector 4 in lap number 2. Joey Bag of Donuts in the Honda Genesis Group 3 is now currently to catch up on to Bodo Kier in the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3 in a different variation livery. UTRS in Sportec is currently to be dropped down on the number 10 spot before moving on to be in the final turn hairpin again to be passed on to be on the red zone at the break. There you go, looks like Joey Bag of Donuts is now getting closer by the opportunity and one of the core bets on position number 8 has the opportunity to stay well defended. But clearly we're having a good short time on feet drive for the top 3 drivers. And here comes Demon Craig in 2nd place to be on the silver spot along with Liam underscore Sharpie in 3rd place at the bronze. Moving on in lap number 3 in about 9 more to go folks. This one might have to count by the multiplication times 3, we'll have to do the math. Update on the fastest lap on Arthur Passios to take 2 minutes and 8.180 seconds to go faster to be in a successful lead. Take turn 1 clear to be moved on into turn 2. 
and coming in onto the other section of the track will be going curves smoothly to be on the corner edge. So let's see how things might be going well so out there folks. Just gonna have to go dive in again onto turn two. Honda Genesis Group 3, driven by Joey Bag of Donuts, is still on the chase to catch up to Bodo Kier in 8th place in a different livery of the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3. The next turn clear on Sector 2, and coming in onto the urban tracks to have the good suitable strategy, just like the International B License back again. Oh man, that was a spin out. No one else didn't barely made a contact, but Joey Bag of Donuts doesn't take the effect of the penalty to be forced the collision course to be coming in. But no penalty on Joey Bag of Donuts. That means good news to see how the Honda Genesis Group 3 is currently to be moved on in position number 8, followed by UDRS Insportech in the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3 on the number 9 position. That was absolutely so close to have an instant replay but one of the Corvette C7 Group 3 just barely lose control of the grip during the part of the corner section in the east clockwise. But ouch. I won't do that because it takes many circumstances to have to go concentration to try not to go over aggressive. That's how the number one racing opportunity during the FIA Gran Turismo Championship in motorsports history. Drive respectfully, to drive on the rain. So now on to the last minute, we have Demon Craig took the fastest lap to beat Arto Pasios in 2 minutes and 7.887 seconds to be currently in the number 2 spot. One American Gran Turismo racer did a good proud job out there to take the lap time to go faster with a higher pace of the aggressive and go passive on the rain surface. Good job Demon Craig. Keep it up, and you'll be able to reach in first place at no time. So meanwhile, Smart Prime is now coming in on position number 10 to enter over onto turn 1 again. UDRS Insportech has to take the middle section to master on the inside when taking the rain is going to be very difficult to go intermediate. Gonna have to get closer onto Smart Prime in 10th place, followed by Tractor Fixture in Joe in the same car of the Honda Genesis Group 3 is now coming in to be part on the next turn in Sector 2. Gonna keep on track, take that turn and go smoothly without getting impact by the barrier will end up by having a 1.5 second penalty. Same as always from GT Sport but differently in GT7 by having a driving physics is going to be doing some smoothly efforts so we have to do some different strategies but we have to do the same. On the ramp we go, on to sector 4 to be currently to be pressed on. There you go. Just going to have to stay on track and keep coming in forwards for UTRS in Sportec. But we have Cripple underscore Mule is now coming in from the left side and take the overtake pass. And there goes the yellow flag signal to be barely called in. Now let's see which GT player just barely made a mistake by losing control. Alright, looks like SM SMR Prime is doing one piece. But we have a number 8 driver is now currently to be slowed down by the recovery after the hairpin slide incident. But no contact needed, but just having a losing control for a single GT player with a Group 3 class is all about trying to keep it under control by the pressure. So here we have Johnny 5 in the Lexus RCF GT3 2017 in the scene. Let's see how UDRS Insportec can actually take on with a different livery on the 2017 Lexus RCF GT3 class. Take the side by side and coming in onto the straightaway before entered onto sector 2. Keep coming up and go on the inside at turn 1. Almost barely cleared the chance to see it, but still try to keep pressuring up onto the pace. Coming down onto turn 2 before moving on to be at the section to be on the corners. And we have Rabbit Rabbit barely beat Demon Craig's lap time in 2 minutes. 7.602 seconds is going to be a very good faster rush out there to beat the rain 
and go smoothly to have a good chance of a clean passive aggressive racer to have a good clean effort. So now Johnny 5 just barely took a good side by side formation along with Triple Mule and the Nissan GTR GT3 and passed on to be on the number 11 spot to be entered over on to the sector 4 position at the end of the third. So here it comes. Looks like Nissan GTR is about to have a turn to catch up onto Lexus to go on the offense and Lexus take the defense will have to keep continuing on simultaneously to be on the rush. But the patient is about to go progress to see how fast the group 3 cars is very challenging to beat the rain around on the surface of Tokyo Expressway. Now for the final corner. Just gonna have to keep pressing on and catch up with some three other drivers and the Honda Genesis Group 3 is entered to be on the first straightaway after the last turn. So thank goodness, this part of the sector is about to be going smoothly out there to see how the direction line is gonna be going well co corrected. So let's do some feet drive to be coming in onto the tunnels before moving on into lap number six. Halfway there folks. We are halfway there on to the final lap because the daytime condition is about to go late afternoon. But hopefully the sun comes down but the nighttime is about to go shine because the partly cloudy condition for the forecast is going to be still on for having a rain condition. Always be respectful to, what, to the weather channel because it will might have to do some number of schedules to be on the daytime around on Tokyo. Just gonna have to be a little bit gentle to be moving on in the halfway mark in lap number six. There's Rabbit Rabbit in the 2018 Ford GT race car is now currently to be overtake at UTRS in Sportech to be dropped down on the number 14 spot. So let's try to keep it up and go moderation. We're not getting close. Oh, so close to see Rabbit Rabbit just barely lose control on the handling. That makes a very good close call for the 2018 Ford GT GTE class car is going to be doing some hard work and some strategies to beat the wet surface. And UTRS Insportec has the opportunity. Will it might be getting closer on to Rabbit Rabbit in the 2018 Ford GT race car is about to get closer on to the third sector to be currently moved forward. Almost had the chance for Rabbit Rabbit. UTRS Insportec still pushes on to be on the offense to switch things up onto the high gear. The final turn at the hairpin is about to go blinded. Apex in, do two sections to go on. Keep revving up and move forward to be on the full straightaway at the final sector. And here comes Arthur Passios beat the lap time by having a good comeback in 2 minutes and 6.525 seconds to beat Rabbit Rabbit's running time is now doing the currently to be on the ongoing rush. So looks like Tractor Fixture in the Hyundai Genesis Group 3 is coming out in the pits after switching up from the racing tires to be in the determination we we'll have to go in onto the intermediate. So how's the fuel map is doing? 52% by the remaining. Well, I have to make sure to catch up. Gonna have to go for a moderation overdrive to be coming in onto turn one again in sector two. All right, looks like same thing to do some good moderation strategy, just like high speed ring from round four. But it was a lot of fun out there that I just moved forward onto the top three position it is very incredible. But in this part of the fifth round in the second test season, it is going to be very difficult to have some daytime condition. It's about to go evening. So let's turn the headlights on. The buildings will be turned on as well. So we got some good nighttime racing. It's about to go prepared. Come on, just gonna have to keep coming forward. Still in the number 13 position for UTRS Insportec folks. Now let's see how the top 3 driver is doing. Still doing alright. They have already made it in onto the straightaway after the final corner. 
Keep it up, Demon Craig. You can do it. Catch up onto Arthur in first place before the rest of the drivers will be coming out towards the final turn. Liam underscore Sharpie is still in one piece for the number three spot at the bronze. But clearly, one Canadian Gran Turismo racer is still got a lot of good rope technique efforts out there to stay on focus with Demon Craig to be currently ongoing. And then UDRS in Sportech continues on in the final sector to be at the straightaway and hopefully there might be some several drivers who might have a chance to be entered at the pits for only one time only at the moment. Gonna have to keep our eyes peeled and here's Tractor Fixer in the Hyundai Genesis Group 3 enters on lap number 8 by the overtake at Team Chevy with the UTRS in Sportech livery is now coming out onto the tunnel to get ourselves to have the tire wet to be on the feet. He press up onto the rush. Turn number one is about to be entered again in sector two. There we go. Looks like Hane is now coming in at the inside. Same goes for UTRS in Sportec. We'll have to go exercise caution. Evening time is about to go closer towards the twilight and Hane took the penalty by impact the barrier by 1.5 seconds. Gonna stay on track. Take the outside and coming in on the inside in sector three. Oh boy, looks like it's Duncan is now coming in at the scene before Insportech comes out and oh man, that was a slightly impact at the barrier to be end up onto the penalty result. Tractor Fixer is now moving on in position number 14 while UDRS Insportech is still on the struggle ropes. But clearly, still get much further out there in 6.6 .6 seconds to catch up on to Rabbit Rabbit and the 2018 Ford GT race car is still in position number 12 after being moved on in the 11th position to be overtake at triple underscore mule. But it was a lot of good daytime to have a good forward to be on the nighttime. But clearly, this race is going to be much beautiful to have a real-time condition. It's about to go progression. So let's see how Insportech do a great job out there to be on the final turn to keep pressing forward. Same goes for number 13 position at the final sector. Crossing through on the penalty line before enter the tunnel by putting the tires will be on feet dry. Lap number 8 is coming to an end, and here comes lap number 9, will be entered proceed forward to have a good single chance without enter the pit stop to have a refuel requirement. There's Crippo underscore mule right now, 2.4 seconds up ahead before enter in sector 2 at corner number 1. But hold on, looks like it's Duncan Papades is now coming in at the scene. Looks like he's going faster to be on the rush. And looks like Cripple underscore Mule have left the room to have a final stand in the last resort of the last race entry. Moved on by default for UTRS in Sportech is in number 12 position. And Duncan Bospe is now entered in the 13th position. And hold on, looks like the BMW is now coming in to be on the left side overtake to be entered again onto sector three. So let's keep it careful and take this turn to go smoothly without getting too much aggressive. The night time is about to go on at any moment because it still have a lot of daylight. We'll have to go burning out onto the rush. Let's keep it careful. Same thing as always and keep a good grip. Sector 4 is about to go smoothly in. Gonna have to save one last spot on sector number five. That's where the high speed drag race will have to get a good patient time before midnight comes. Just like having a different rule of Wagon Midnight is all about Japanese cars will be racing around in the highways. Oh boy, looks like the yellow flag signal just barely called in folks. This cannot be good. Someone's having a tough time at the final turn to be entered in sector five. So I wonder which driver is it? It's position number 11, Rabbit Rabbit in a 2018 Ford GT race car. 
So no matter how he had something to be losing control onto its grip, and there it goes. We have two drivers enter the pits by having a refuel requirement, but luckily for UTRS Insportec is all good for now. Two more laps to go and we are entered into the 10th lap. There goes Tractor Fixer in the Hotney Genesis Group 3 is now coming in. The rain percentage on the road surface is going to get much closer on to 50%. So take your time and the yellow flag signal to be well cautioned. Okay, that's my cue. Take the inside and stay on the line with Tractor Fixer in the Honda Genesis Group 3. UTRS Insport Tech in the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3 is still barely tries to keep holding on to its grip and Wait, is that Demon Craig in position number 10? Oh no, Demon Craig almost had its chance to stay on to the number 3 position spot and then it ends up on to the number 10. Oh, there it goes. Looks like there's Demon Craig right over here, folks. That cannot be good for Team Chevy to have a lost control situation to be on the corner section in sector 2 and 3. But hopefully, UTRS Insportech will have the chance to go avenge to its teammate in a different livery, but Tractor Fixer in the Honda Genesis Group 3 is still currently to go forward by having a penalty effect in 1.5 seconds. Now let's go again in Sector 4. Gonna have to stay on track. Night time is about to go begin, and it's already here. Hopefully, this time condition is going to be twilight. Coming in onto the hairpin, UTRS Insport Tech in the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3 is staying on track to stay focused on track to fixer in the Honda Genesis Group 3. Sector 5 comes in to take the full stretch to be entered at the end of lap number 10 before moving on into lap number 11 for only one more lap to go. And here it goes. This one might have the perfect time to take number 10 for UTRS Insportech to move forward at the end of the 10th lap to come right in on to lap number 11. And here comes Tokyo Dave in about 7.3 seconds to go by the length of the gap. Gonna have to stay on track and keep coming forward at the straight. Looks like Tractor Fixer is not giving up yet. And there goes another yellow flag signal to be coming in at turn one. So let's be gentle and oh boy. Looks like didn't see that coming because Tom the Tech and myself just really took the same penalty time to be effect. Looks like Tractor Fixer is lucky. That means the opportunity is going to be having another chance for Team Hane while the 17th place driver has the same issues to be on the breaking point at turn number one. But th that almost jump scares me to give me a GBs. Come on, let's keep it up. I know this is very distracted. Whenever happens in Tokyo Expressway, stays in Tokyo Expressway for having a practice. Okay, there he is right now. Nope, that's Ghost E in the Nissan GTR is currently on the lap one lap plus. Let's move on in sector four. So Tractor Fixer is coming in smoothly and we have Nighthawk in position number three goes on to be at the bronze position to move forward to catch up onto Arthur Pasio's from Brazil in the number two position. So thankfully, it might be quite good to see one Canadian racer to take the lead to have a good successful spot. Leanne underscore Sharpie takes a good goal position at the front lines. And here comes the final lap. This is going to be it. This is going to be it at the end of round five because the night time takes the perfection to do the final run to do a victory lap to see how Liam takes the win. And here it comes right now. Insportech has took the penalty line to be crossed in due to turn number one incident by having a different opponent in the Honda Genesis Group 3 with a different variation. Now it also comes in to have the same position on the number 10 spot for Insportech. The final lap is about to kick things off to have a good well defended before Rabbit Rabbit in the 2018 Ford GT race car and Duncan 
Bob Hades in the BMW C3 GT3 2011. Well, also to have a C4 GT3 as well to have a good competition for the Manufacturer's Cup. There he is right now. The 2018 Ford GT race car driven by Rabbit Rabbit is now coming in to be in the nick of time at turn number one. Let's do this. The final showdown is about to go on. Ford versus Chevy. The battle in Tokyo Expressway at night time with a rain condition. It's gonna get closer because 7% in the field remaining is about to go quick to do the last resort as a sacrifice. Gonna keep an eye out. This race is going to be a very challenging effort to be on the books. Smoothly in and keep coming on the inside on the curves of the barriers. Strategy move by UDRS Insportec to deal with the ongoing opponent. This race is just about to be over soon before the top three drivers will have to take the final stretch. And there goes Liam underscore Sharpie to take the final stretch to be in the final sector to be coming out from the outside and goes in on the tunnels to have a good checker flag. And there it goes. One Canadian racer, Liam underscore Sharpie, takes the win for round five in test season two of the 2022 series of the Manufacturer's Cup. Great job, you guys. Way to keep things up and survive while you can. Now we have Arthur, Arthur Passios from Brazil takes second place. And there's Pap from Argentina takes third place. Everybody is moving forward to have a good feet dry on the tires to be coming out from the rain and goes inside onto the tunnels. 2% remaining and gonna have to go power up. Final stretch and take the sacrifice for UTRS in Sportec will have to end up onto the number 11 spot to be at the checker flag. Wow. That was a difficult race on Tokyo Expressway to have a good rain condition. But clearly, just like high speed rain is a very good piece of cake. But hard as a rock to have some slight corners on the urban track. But clearly, round number five is going to be part of the replay in the highlights is doing a good moment to be part of the FIA Grand Trismo Championship in GT7. So thankfully, the Renault Spark RS01 GT3 2016 takes the win at the podium. For many drivers with the different manufacturer brands will be end up on different position to have good slight of chances to do a good effort and try to keep up to be moved on in the next round. No clean race at the moment and daily workout complete by having a different roulette ticket. All right, now let's go save a replay and give a good congratulations to the top three drivers to have a good rain challenge to be on the city course in the East District onto the clockwise of Tokyo Expressway. Just give me one moment. All right, message sent, and there you have it, folks. Looks like that makes a very tough race on the rain condition to have a good start forward time from late afternoon into twilight. So hopefully, the next race is about to go different to have a good chance to be on a bright and sunny day after the rain will be go away at this moment on this track. But man, end up from position number 11 is going to be a very difficult hard work but I don't know how you guys really think about on rain tracks to be very challenging so let's make sure to drive gentle and be respectful and try not to get too much over aggressive because of wet surface spin outs is very challenging and difficult so just gonna have to try to keep a good passive recovery whenever you're gonna have to do your driving stance whenever you have to choose. But, now that's competition for round five, folks. But that was a lot of hard work for today's race. For only five rounds down on the Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup is about to go on the halfway mark to be in the middle of test season two for only four more rounds to go. 
day by day you guys. Let's make sure to have one different event is about to go forward by having a good date schedule will be countered by even or odd numbers. As for round 4 and 5 to take the rain condition on two different racetrack located in Japan. But luckily, it's about to go having a bright and sunny day to take round 6 will be at Fuji International Speedway for the Group 4 class. But I'm so very happy to have a good sunny day to be moved on to have a good different Japanese racing circuit after we face the rain surface. All that easy and hard work to have two different locations is a very good place to have a nice dry surface. We'll be giving a good warm weather before we will get settled in to do a practice after the same round from the Nations Cup. But this time of this moment again, let's go back to the garage and get myself ready to use the roulette ticket. So I hope everybody could probably have to receive one ticket and put over onto the gift. It's a three star roulette ticket. Let's get ready to use in three, two, one. This time, this will be a different car or a single part by three rarity chance of the Gran Turismo credits. Yep, looks like more Gran Turismo credits to be added up on to 10,000. I'll have to make sure to get a better car next time. There you go. 539,444 credits to be on the current balance. Alright. Now, it's time to get ready to wrap this up, folks. Tomorrow is about to go for having a different day to be at the Nations Cup to have a Group B rally car to take on the road surface at Red Bull Ring. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS liveries, Total Drama Fan Art with card liveries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.